Go on, go on, Jay. Hi, go on, Jay, lad. Hello, you lovely lot, and welcome to the beautiful Western Pools on the clay pit, where I have got the biggest method envy in the old wide world. Jamie, give me a go. You've actually never been here in the summer, have you? I've not. I've only ever fished it in the winter, where you wait like three hours for a bite, but then you get like a million pounds because it's one a chuck. So, Jay lad, we're doing Pellet Waggler, one of my favourite methods in the old wide world ever, in the old wide world ever. Yeah, mum. And you're on it. Yeah, mum. What is going on? I'm better you at You is the man. You. you are to be, You're better at everything. You're better at this, definitely, mate. But anyway, yes, we're going to talk about lots of wagglery things, aren't we? Yes. And we're going to do it a bit back to front. We're going to go straight in with the fishing element first, aren't we? Because we like catching I fish. I know. We normally like to have a little bit of a chat, and I like to bore you all first. Kingfisher, no. did you hear him? You what? It's Kingfisher, then. No. I was, oh, I did say Kingfisher. I heard him, then. Yeah, no, we've got to be green woodpecker today. That's okay, our, green, that's green woodpecker's the one today. Anyway, yes, so we're going to talk about, look at him, beautiful. Beautiful one. We're going to talk about some wagglery fishing, aren't we? And the differences. It's, it's mad how it's changed. I'm going to go into how it's changed over the years for me in the, the traditional way of like feeding, casting any bait into it, waiting 15 seconds, winding it back, repeating the process, and just using like one particular waggler. That's all I used to use. Did how you? it's changed now with all like your little babby ones, your water wagglers, your foam ones. It, it's nuts, mate. It's massive, why, isn't it? Using the right thing. The that's why you're sat there. fishing, isn't it? And I'm sat here. It is, mate. It changes. But it has. It's been our very much obsession for quite a while, hasn't it? It's getting well, this right. When you get your head into summer, it's like, it's proper, isn't it? It's how it has to be. But yeah, so what are we going to talk about first? We're going to talk about feeding and the routine, in it before we go into wagglers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because massive, innit? And it's reading what they're doing as well, though, isn't it? So people don't do hey, that. Yeah, that'll be I on. think that one might be People on. don't do it enough, though, do they? <laughs> Give me a go, Jamie! <laughs> You've got to no, see... No, they don't read what what's they're going doing. on. Yeah, I think that's obviously fishing as, as a whole. You know, anglers make mistakes. Yeah. It's well, like, they... you, you just had to have a little quiet word with me before, didn't you? Yeah, we just fixed <laughs> Put me right. fishing. <laughs> Fix me. <laughs> I'll catch you in fish. One go. But yeah, it is. But no, it's what... like, obviously, you feed in your bait and you can see them. They're there on your bait. Yeah, but so it's in that how respect... the feeding on it, isn't it? How high the feeding. Yeah. When you're getting bites. Yeah. When you're getting the vast majority of your bites, dictates your routine. Yeah, yeah. Don't it? Because most venues are the same. Yes, most venues, I'm going to say 90% of your bites come on splash. You having that? Yeah, definitely. Nearly everywhere. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anywhere that it isn't. That no. I can think of. Hayfield can be a bit different, but still, there's a Hayfield's lot of splash. where you potentially leave it a little bit longer, you know, sit the line bit. and wait for the bite. But yeah. more often than not, it's that. It's not even a curve, it's an arc, isn't it? You're looking for that arc as that bait's falling through. Yes. And then you, I've seen you like giving it a little twitch. I, I never like giving it a twitch. But that's your that's second step. But the, the twitch is one of them that there's lots and lots of pellet wagglers videos been done. Yeah. And the twitch is all of them. I, people talk about it lifting your bait and falling it again. It doesn't happen. You, you've seen what? You've filmed I've it, haven't you? You've seen it, it underwater. Do you know what I mean? It moves, but it's. What's all you're doing is it just coming straight. Me? So obviously that's it. your floats here, pellet set. When you're moving your float, is it just literally just following yeah. it? Yeah. So it's yeah. It doesn't right. come up on this lovely flutter. It goes yeah. a little bit, but it's not it's what that, you're doing it for. It's that moving, isn't it? Yeah, it's the it's moving a bit, but for me it's timing. You're twitching it to, for two things: to straighten your line to keep it tight. I mean, because by then you've probably had 10, 15 seconds of cast. So you want to straighten that? Out? Yeah. Let me let me chuck it in. This is new for me as well, Jay. I've got to touch on that rest. I, I never use a rest. I've always got it like set, ready to go under my arm. Oh, that's me With getting shouted at. Oh, I'm going to catch one on my flip in here. <laughs> your, your I wanted big... to not catch one that cast. <laughs> Take your bait out. You probably still catch. I'm going to chuck it over there and show you what I'm on about. But no, I'm not, because then Rich won't be able to see it. I'll just have to empty the peg. You're you're big for this now, aren't you? Resting, like letting them up. I, I but can't. it's all about that twitchy thing. Yeah. Keeping yeah. it tight. The importance of being told by my little mate Matador's pain in the arse, messing me right up with me waggler fishing. Yeah. In, in fact, no, do you know what I'm gonna break it down to? There are two ways of waggler fishing. There's the way Andy Power does it, waggler god. What like the, mugging wise, you mean? Delicate, delicate, sexy. Yeah. Not often in your feed where you're holding your rod and you're fishing light, sexy baits. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that's all, that's his, he's the best at that. Yeah. And then there's the way Will does it, yeah, which yeah. is very, Tight line, he hooking themselves. Heavy floats. In your feed. And it's working out what's right. I mean, they're both a joke in the right situation. I mean, obviously in a venue like this where you could, well, you can do both because the fish are up in the water, you can fish them for sight, but also they come into your bait. So yeah, I'm not going to feed this guy. Well, let me try and get it in so I can talk about this twitchy thing. So we're back on that. So I'm going to try and move my float just so one doesn't have it. Right, so you have your, you have your first cast. Yeah. I've tried to move that so it looked crap. 
But anyway, your rig's in, you've had your first bit. The first thing I'm going to say that I hate people doing is chucking in and picking the catapult up. Yeah, leave, yeah. leave it, yeah? The yeah. worst thing you can do is grab that catty straight away yeah. because of that 90%. Yeah. Yeah, 90% of your yeah. bites come. As soon as it goes in, that's when you get a bite. On Just that watch your float then instead of do something else. Yeah. Yeah, that next bit where the twitch comes in, for me, all it's about is timing. I want to do the twitch so I can feed. Do you know what I mean? So I'm fishing while I'm still feeding. So, so what are you doing? You're putting your rod down, feeding, my line first, and then See, I've got it. a bow. Now yeah, I've got yeah. a little bow. So I just want to flick my line. Yeah, just tighten it off. Yeah. I've left that a bit too long. Then let me do, let me do it again. Because I'd left my line, it sunk a little bit. So you're twitching it first, just straighten your line, and then you're feeding, and then you're leaving it a few more seconds. Is that what you're doing? Um, uh, literally, as my pellets land. So let that land. Please don't eat it. Please don't eat it. Right, so now I'm going to like fix my line so see I'll straighten it. Yep. And yep, I've got yep. a lovely straight line all the way down to my float. Yeah. I mean, then I've got time to feed. So that's when my feed goes on top. Yeah. As that feed lands, I'm in. But I've been fishing for yeah, five, I mean, six seconds no. as I've fed. My feed's in. I've still got my mark because I can see where my bait's gone in. I'm chucking right on top of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my pellets are going in less than 10 seconds after them pellets have landed. So my next like lot's going in. more pellets landed, isn't it? You yeah. know, obviously that double feed where the fish are getting used to. That's that double pellet landing in. Yeah, this is well. going nice now. now. I've not had a bite. I can show you exactly what I'm on about, so I'm nice and quick. So straight my line. Yeah, all looks lovely. If I get a bite, it'll pull it. So yeah. I'm not going to watch me rod nice too much. Yeah. Again, that's Will's type of waggler fishing. Go Feed on. me bait. While Go that's in the, the air, I'm cranking. Yeah. Yeah, nice and fast to get it back. See, they're on top of me bait. Yeah, yeah. And then this time, Jay, lad, this time. But it's it's such an effective, quick way of fishing, in it? When it when it's like this. So um, on me bait, on me bait. Keep take watching. Some beating. So if one hasn't had it, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be back in that peg in like 10 seconds time, dead, dead quick. So you're only going to catch that to 10% on the twitch. Yeah. But it ain't lasting. Like, it's not like I'm wasting time twitching because no. I'm feeding while I'm doing it. It's probably the so same. That's what it is for me. Same amount of time scale that I, well, I used to fish pellet waggler. It was feed, cast into it, 15, 20 seconds, wind back, repeat the process. Crank it back. But it's all, all but what you what, what would you have done then, old school? Would you have fed then cast? Yes, 100%. What, fed without fishing? Yeah, so I'd have, I'd have flicked out in front of me, so I'm ready for that cast. Would you? Fed, come straight back, cast straight into it. And cast on top That's of it. That's how I've always fished a pellet waggler. Yeah. Always. So for me, that come into it later on when I've got to trick them. I mean, at first I want them to get them in my peg, feeding on my routine. Yeah. And then you start messing about with them, because they do get used to it, definitely, once you've caught a few. And then you've got to like, mix it about and feed it at different times, but never now. Oh, never as soon as that waggler's landed. No. No, because you, you go to like pit your cap or you get a bite fishing, you miss it, yeah. you? you just end up missing it because it's not tight. So, Jay, obviously, you know, we've talked about this loads and loads, haven't we? Uh, feathering and making sure you're getting that double plop and keeping that, that pellet straight after yeah. your float. It's looking after your rigging. I like that. That's do a, a bad cast. Thing. Do a bad cast so Rich can get it in. Don't feather Where it. Where am I landing? Go on. Don't feather it. Don't or feather, feather it. it too early. So I'm going to just... stop it there and... That, that went too no, bad. That, that's better than what I cast, Jay. No, do a bad cast. <laughs> it's hard. I know what you mean. You're trying to make your... Just like, just don't feather it. Just like, let it go in. Yeah, but it'll still do it. Go on, don't feather. Don't feather like, it. Like, leave it. That's it. So, it's so a obviously, messy. see how long it takes that float to come up? That's, oh, that's I, one. I'm with you. I you put see, you you've not got a tight off. line. You've got a big bony line because you've not touched the line. Yeah. That's the other. Yeah. It's so important. It's that, straightening that your rig, innit? So your rig lands. Yeah. Like that, innit? Yeah. So by Both to keep it, it out of a tangle, but for me, it's to keep that tight. Because if that, if that lands there, look at all that slack. It's so if fish is taking that and you're not, nothing's You registered. never know. It's got to be like that, hasn't it, for you yeah. to see one? 100%. And the other thing yeah. as well, obviously, you saw the bow you had in your line there. We've got a slight breeze. Yeah. But we'll by keeping that line tight, um, it, it's straightening it from your rod tip to your float. Look at that. Jamie, that is beautiful. Did you like Deserves that? a fish, that Jay, lad. Maybe. I don't think like about that one so there, obviously the winds, the winds pretty nice. In what situation would you go to like potentially heavier floats or different? Oh, go on. Oh, is, he, is he foul up? No, he's large. You don't foul. Oh, do apologise. Sorry, 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 sorry. Andrew Come on, mate. sorry. So <laughs> right, that's off. Do apologise, CEO. Please don't dock me wages this month, Richard. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, Jay, lad. Right. Yes. So talk me through why you're not feeding when you're playing one. Because what's the point? What's funny about. If I proper felt that I'm going to lose my fish I, to someone that, else. That, I think that's more so match conditions, Jay, when there's people around here. You haven't that? Maybe, yeah. Keep a little I bit might feed as soon as I've landed it, but I, I don't feed now. In here is a bit dodgy as well, because there's an odd random snag, and yeah, like they that. pull very, very hard. Again, it's like, it, it's mad though. Are you saying it? Everything evolves, doesn't it? And it evolves for a reason. It is. Don't get me wrong. As soon as I land it, if I've took a while to, to play it, because this is a bit bigger one, 
then I'm going to think I'm going to feed as soon as I've landed. It. Oh, he's he is large. Man. Where's my only mat? I want a picture with this one, Richard. Pleasure angler gets pictures with fish as well. Now, <laughs> really? That's what Andy said. Into a pleasure angler. You're taking the mick, folks. You're taking the mick. That is a beautiful fish. We like that. Can I come and admire it? Can I come and look at my fish, <laughs> like a pleasure angler style. I'll, I'll bring it to you on the next peg. Colour. They're all beautiful and dark in here, isn't it? It's That's like one a, thing with Western. It's like a tango fish, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful, man. mate. All dark, lovely ones because the water's so clear, isn't it? So that was interesting, that, and that had settled, hadn't it? You're just about to twitch it, were you? Yeah, but no, I'm yeah, fishing deep though, it. innit? But it's settled, hasn't it? Because what we've been able to do here that's a bit different, with clay pit being so clear, Yeah. it's amazing, isn't it, that Rich won't be able to get it on camera or nothing. Get it, you will get it. There you go. But it's amazing how long that rig takes to sink. When you actually watch that pellet on the tight line, in there, you can see that pellet for a long, long time. Look, it's only a foot. Yeah, yeah, I've seen your line Two there, foot. Man. It's a long, so you might as well give it nearly 10 seconds yeah so it's still not straight now it's probably straight yeah so still, it's, it's a long time in it for that 10, 12 seconds, three and a half four foot that we're fishing today yeah it's a long time and give them a chance for me as long as i feel i could be fishing don't get me wrong if, if all my bites are coming as soon as we waggle it to the water then you know i can see them swirling frequent. cast faster yeah but if not let the young fish it I'll feed that a bit because i've been nice and slow catching that fish and obviously, you know, cast him round your feed as well when it gets a bit iffy, Jay. Past it, left and right of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That can, it's, all, it's, all it's that a can big old area, though, when it? With your feed, not so much left and right of it for me, go past it. But that, that, again, it's in your routine. Yeah. It wants to be, really, I've got a bit of a light float on here. But by swapping to a, he no, I can't be asked swapping float. Swapping to a heavier float, you can always fish the back of your bait, which is mega important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the back of your bait's where they live. It's the same with your shallow fishing, isn't it, on pole? Fish are at the back the of your bait, that's where they want to feed, it's where they're happy. Yeah. They know to pick them few pellets that land past it, don't they? Yeah, right. so yeah. my routine Same wants one. to be to cast just past it. Yeah. Ideally, I'm probably in a slightly heavier float in this case. But then when I twitch, my feed is going to, um, my feed's going to land on my float. When I've twitched it now, and I've probably drawn it back a metre and a half, two metres, yeah. now that's where your feed lands. Yeah? Yeah. We want to try and be that same place of where that's landing. See where that pellet landed at the back? Yeah. That's, that's where, where we... Look at him, he's munching me, that red ant is. Ugh. I thought I felt a stinging sensation in my neck. Rich has brought that from yesterday. He's stood in them all day. Go on, Richard. So yeah, mucking about with where you're chucking your feed obviously going to make a difference. But... So obviously your feeding regime will change throughout the day though, Jay. You, you try it, you know, bring it back, under your rod tip feed, cast into it and all that. And mounts won anything for me. Right, okay. Right. Sometimes like two pellets is best, sometimes 20 is best to make a load of noise and get them, get their attention. But then obviously when they're there, cut down, get them competing or yeah. just keep it like that. Yeah. So oh, they've got the blue they're all like, out there, Jay. They're right? all damp, aren't they? So that needs... Oh. <laughs> Come on, he's got it in. They're all damp. They're all damp. Jamie, I wouldn't uh, class this lake as damp. Not, nowhere on this lake is damp, is the, it? The fish are damp. <laughs> See, the wind's got a bit nasty now. Yeah, it has. I need heavy float on. Because even me first... First so what would you do? Would in? you go to like a bolsa loaded one, heavier just float, heavy, or would yeah. you just change size on this one? To begin oh. with, I'd step up on one of the on a foam one. Yeah. Like right now, I've got a three SSG foam one on. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. step up to a four or five. Have a look. See if that's right. But because they're really shallow, it might be better off keeping a really small waggler. Yeah. And swap into a bolsa type and see if they hook themselves on that. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. We're going to have a little go. So I'm going to swap. Jay, lad. From Come here. on. So we make sixty one. Yeah. Six gear. Six gear. Six gear. Six gear. Bolsary type you make six one. Yeah, yeah. So I can Jay. feel that a lot heavier already. Yes, that's the one. That is the one, Jay lad. Yeah, I can chuck that and a million mile further. <laughs> that, that was me. That could have gone ten metres further that. So let's wait. <laughs> Let me get back in routine. But this is like like we talked about, briefly touched upon before, this is like the, the hooky one, isn't it? This is one pretty much everything's gonna hook itself. Everything oh. should hook itself a lot better. So any little <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Any little. That is ridiculous. Beautiful. That's better. Goes in a bit nastier. Yeah. I mean, a bit more of a it's splash. That, though, isn't it? it's, but it's how heavy the float is. Yeah. Line. All of a sudden, my line's tight now. Oh, F1s. <laughs> That's a, that problem, folks. Obviously, when it's F1s over carp, carp just nail it. That's yeah. it. It's on. Cheers for F1s. sticking off me, mate. It was just shit fishing, really. No, well, Jamie, well. Jamie, Jamie. It was a F1. Right. Pull line and everything, that one. But that's what I'm after, pull line, because the weight me float, it hooks itself. Big carpet. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, that's definitely for me. 
the waggler for choice at, at the minute with how this wind's gone, a little bit naughty. So that were better Perfect. or tight pull. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, <laughs> Jamie, nobody likes to see that. But that were all right, that was in gob, all nice. <laughs> My hook's just abused because we caught too many on it. But it's mad, isn't it? Like that little change, yeah. two quick bites. My float's you can just see better what's happening now, yeah. with that line. Because my line's tight, I'm hooking them. Yeah. And you're just in control of it all of a sudden. Now, if it was me, folks, I'd still be on that other float like, no, I'm going to wait for this wind to pass. It'll yeah, be all right. It'll go in a minute. It's nuts. The difference, like... It doesn't go in anywhere near as nice. No, but it's, but it's, it's this that, bit. It's that line. That, isn't it that little straight? bugger didn't half get me then. Beautiful. See, lovely tight line again, all the way to float. I mean... See, yeah. see tight, see pull yeah, line I'm sorry, Rod. So they are F1s, that. them. I'm blaming yeah. that. If they, they were calf, they're on. I mean, obviously, if it was mainly F1s, you, you wouldn't be on this for F1s, would you? It's not. A, it's, they are waggler for F1s, isn't it? Too productive, is it? No. Out and out carps. And when you can see them visibly, you don't really need to change around with depth, do you? Definitely not one for coming shallower because obviously you don't get the fall at the same, do you? It's what, yeah, let's talk about that next depth. That's a big thing, isn't it? In that how deep you set it, it yeah. depends. I don't think it's where they're feeding. It might do somewhere like this, because it's dead deep. And they could feed deeper, you know what I mean? They could feed at four and six foot quite easy on here. Same as eight field, that sort of thing. Yeah. But I think more importantly is whether they'll accept the splash of the float or not, and how far away your float needs to be. Mm. I think that's more important than, than the depth. Because like right now, the fish, the fish are really, really shallow, aren't they? We're seeing them. Yeah. But as I say, is it... So you could probably put a 10-inch hook length on and catch a few, but whether they'll accept that float going in and be 10 inches away... it's too close to it, isn't it, as it's landing. As this duck put them off. But as I was saying before, you oh, like, like to wait use... into... Oh, I'll have to move it. Go ahead. Look at him, Daffy. Oh, Look at him. He's... he's giving me the Vs. He's fanning himself. Give me some bait, give me some bait, give What's me some he bait. He's fanning he? himself, isn't he? Yeah, run about them fixed up lengths and... I've always been one of them. I'll always use a long gut length, but then put the uh, the stop knots on, the, the floating, uh, the rubber stoppy, slidey things, and yeah. just move my float as and when. But to be fair, yeah, it's I'm pretty much I always that. have it, three and a half, three, three and a half foot, and just, that's it, leave it. I very rare I change around with it. Yeah, well, uh, I want, that's I want how mine you've fixed done it. I like the way you've done it, fixed up length. And Who does that? I, think, I don't know whether that was a power thing. But yeah, for me, I, I hate like how that. people have. Yeah, yeah. The stops there. So you hate you're basically saying you hate me, Jamie. Not you, basically. Just told everyone on camera, folks. You just hates the strong word. That he hates me. You just need to fix you, it. You're using it a bit too often for my liking, <laughs> Jamie. At the minute, right. hate. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Uh, what we're about? Yeah. I don't like having loads of stops. Yeah. I just have mummy not. So my like, hook length mate, dictates me me length. I love that. Yeah. A proper. That like is that. how deep a fish is. More than my hook length is. Because yeah. I don't need to worry about them moving, my line getting damaged because they move. Because it does every fish that you catch, like, or if you strike a bit hard, or if you force it, it a bit is, hard, it? it'll slip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that one stays anyway, the top one. Yeah. It's just the bottom one that takes the abuse, and that's why people have two or three. Yeah, don't bother, just put it on me not, it never moves. And it is. You, this is how deep it is. You don't fish deeper or shallower than that, it is. No, nah, well, all my hook clamps are big anyway, do you know what I mean? I have all my spools, and they're like, all like yeah. six foot hook clamps on. And I ain't down, ever fishing you? deeper than six foot. I'm going to do that all the time, me. You're going to do that? Literally, all my uplands are going to be three and a half foot long. Yeah, you've got to tie the uplands, that's the hard bit. Oh, no, Rest I'm just going to get a phone call. Make them pre tied uplands. How long are yours? Six foot. I'm just going to have yours and trim them down. See the mate. massive big. Because they're F1s, this waggler's nasty now. I think, do you not think it age you hitting them more, though? See, it's going in just too nasty. So what I've got, I'm going to swap back to me. Ooh. Give me one feed and I'm going to swap back to me. It was nuts like when it was heavier. F1s and the odd car back in the day. Heavy float like you've got on now and just winding back. What, move it as you go? Just like you literally just yeah. trolling it like that, just winding back. Yeah, like man. We used to do that at and like that, pull it through your bait. That you did. Right, let me swap this to a heavier foam waggler this time. All right, okay, go ahead. So you wouldn't think a waggler would make a difference, but it's a joke. Yeah. Heavier foam one, heavier foam one, imp. And obviously you've got the little babby ones, the little babby foam ones there solely for mug oh, what, what, if it was like flat calm or like wind perfect they'd, they'd be for them? me they're all me mugging wagglers so What's like that? like can you get these on here richard there's some now like he's never 40 meters i can't expect him them to get when you can see quick. fish like that richard can get them on should we try and get one he's a big in him oh he's he's gone for it he's gone for it no he, <sighs> he didn't like it but see that's the splash isn't it yeah don't like the splash yeah yeah, yeah. right let's go back in on this one so this is a heavier Fingy waggler now. It's a two-tone float. Slightly more buoyant, 
but a heavier uh, foam waggler. Yeah. Yeah, because my other one was a little bit light. So again, I can hit that spot a bit better with oh. that one. See how much better it goes in? Yeah. Beautiful. That top of the float didn't even get wet. And it's just like, it ain't got damp, that, has it, Jay? It ain't even got damp. Doom, straight. It ain't got damp, lad. It's not even gone under water, that one, is it? Just straight it's up. It's pulling a bit, though. But yeah, that, that's what, you know, we talk about a lot, innit? When you're feathering it, if it's too ice, your float's going down too deep. That's the beauty of these, uh, these foam ones, innit? They come yes. straight back up, so you've seen the float straight away. Yeah, that's what you want instant fishing when they're really shallow. You never want your waggler to go under because it. we did it. Yes, you do. We underwater on, stuff Jamie. with Matrix. You want to go no, don't confuse me. I'm Sorry, on, come I'm on. on. I was on one there. With Matrix, we watched wagglers that pulled your bait under. It's frightening how if you put a bolster in in a bad way, if you cast it badly and it dives, it straightens your hook length because it pulls your, your hook length all the way down. You can imagine that drags it all the way down. All oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it pops up and it leaves your hook length in place. Right. So you never get a fall. You're so up you're not getting that arc falling through anything. No, you? just straight down. You want to see your float at all times. Your float never wants to disappear. It wants to be dunk, and you, yeah, you know, like this. Watch, like this, Andrew. Go on, Jay, lad. Even with that ripple, it's just like Don't. dunk. Yeah, I mean, straight. I can, straight I can still see it under the water. It's never vanished. It's yeah. just. Ugh. But because you feathered it and you got that tight line, even if it does dip under a little bit, you're going to get self-hooking yeah, fish anyway. You're aren't? not upsetting your upland fire. I did say self-hooking then as well. Oh yeah, that nearly got in trouble. On bless him. Mm. Right, so I've had three casts with this float. I don't like this one either because the wind's changed now. The wind's on me back. Yeah. There we go. See, I'm winging it. It's F1s, Jamie. The trouble he's having, folks. He doesn't miss proper bark, they're F1, they're 100% F1. I'm blaming it on F1s actually, normally That's I wouldn't. for me, you need to leave the F1s for me, Jay lad And again, swap my float again, back to me light one, now the wind's changed. Yeah. And that's what you need, I think a rig's really important for me, that your float has to be changeable. You can't have a fixed float in many situations. Yeah? I mean, it just goes in, look how, look how See, nice that it's one's better, there. as long as I can keep that tight line, I'm happy, that is my float today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, because they're so high, they're not liking the splash. Yeah. Well, they're not accepting the splash, really. They're backing off it. They're very spooky. This is the float I want to... And see, it's nice now. As soon as I stop being able to keep that tight line, oh. you think there's a few in the peg. This is ridiculous. But as soon it? as I can not make that tight line, yeah. that is the indicator to swap your float. Yeah, just as the same as shallow fishing, because it's ultimately what you're doing, isn't it? You yeah. are fishing shallow. So as soon as you can't maintain a tight line, you're going to miss bites. It's the yeah. way it is. This is lovely now that this wind's changed. As long as it stays on my back and not side on, beautiful. And it's getting into this rhythm. The rhythm, obviously we talk about rhythm all the time rhythm. with fishing. It's so important with this, isn't it? Once you get into that smooth, nice you know, busy, consistent rhythm, um, it just, everything else flows nice and natural after it, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? I do as we're talking about as well, we're casting. I think that's what you've talked about, feathering and all that, which yeah. does it itself. A little thing for me when casting with wagglers, you need to keep them as flat as possible. So you're punching it, aren't you? You can hear the whip and you're the whacking it in it. You cast hard with a waggler. Yeah. You don't lob it. You're pulling through. If you, if you put it up in the air. Talk about the drop as well, Jay, because that's important. A lot of anglers, certainly when I'm coaching, they're winding the float right up to the rod tip. So it's like, you know, a foot, two foot. Yeah. So I'm, what's happening then? It's sort of like coming down from your rod tip. In my pelvis. You watch how Jay, Jay's casting it. He's leaving a good sort of four, four foot. five, six foot drop. Yeah, four you know to five mean? foot in it. So as he's whacking it out, the float's going up. Well, not so up, but just sort of like over his rod tip. So it's coming down nice and it's feathering. It helps keep it flat, doesn't it? Yeah, Flat definitely. casting, that's massive. So it's not up and down, it's... But it's like, it's not, you're not using really your, your, your right hand. It's like watching him pull that left hand through. And that's why he's getting that whip. Mm, so so important that. Go on, Jay, you know the schnizzle, mate, don't you? I find that with all casting that, innit? Yeah. It's very rarely a lob, is it? It's always a whack it to make things tight and you're more accurate by doing that. Yeah. Not catching any now. Needs a little rest, doesn't it? That's been happening today. Very runny, hasn't it? So what would you do in this situation? Would you potentially go change deeper? Change my routine. Change what, change like feed now, cast into it? Yeah, I'm just going to sit here a minute. I'm just going to feed three times. And Power's fish. massive for this, isn't he? Just leave it for a minute, let him regroup, yeah. Yeah, but you, it's frustrating because you know they're there. Without a waggler in my peg. Let's just tease them for a minute. How often is it as well? Folks, when you've got like a six metre line in and you're feeding that line, you get one there. That's one there. I love that. Little sneaky one. Love that. So I can see a ghost in me peg then. <gasps> right, let's see if we get a bite. In? So I fed it a bit. And I'll tease him because he thought there wasn't getting fish for oh. for a sec. Two pellets landed, innit? 
That is beautiful, Jay. Like that. It proper nice, deserves one, that. Like, proper deserves one. I thought it deserved one. Your line's still perfect, mate. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, Jay, like... Right at the bottom of that four, wasn't it? Mm. That was done, but a bit longer, wasn't it? That yeah. was probably right at the end. Yeah, yeah. The same again, two feet. See, so it's not efficient doing this. Obviously, I'm not fishing. But, but it's the trick of biting. As long it. as the ten pound a piece, I'm not bothered. No. Yeah, but the routine's got them there. The, the it's constant getting, feeding. It's getting confident, isn't it? Now I'm going to try and tease them a bit. No. Nope. Tell you what, they are doing on there as well. That we need to talk about. That definitely happens. So I'm set at what four foot now. Yeah. I don't know if Rich, if I put that right in camera, so forget about me float for a minute. I don't know if Rich will be able to see it or whether it'll show up on camera, but 100% I know them F1s will be coming up now eating it. They will, yeah, I can see a dark shape then. Definitely they come up and have a go at them pellets. With mine being four foot deep. Even though it's like you're on that tight line? Yeah, it's not tight enough, it's F1s, they're horrible. Yeah, they will have that pellet in the mouth, spat out, and you're I not will not see a bite. It. It'll happen, I don't even want to know how much, because it'll wreck me go in, you reckon? I don't know about every go in, but it'll happen a lot. And I know they'll look at it because I've been on here in fish show this year and I was mugging them and I was watching these fish come oh, up, eat me bait. You said about that, mate. Yeah. Oh, they're horrible. But there's no way of fixing it. Do you know what I mean? I could put a little diddy up length on now and I'll probably nail one dead quick. What about start winding back as soon as you cast it in? Is that Possibly not like to keep it a bit tighter. Yeah, that's what that's But what I don't want to move me bait as well, like, like give it a little bit of that, you mean? Just wind slow. That's what we used to do with the ids. No, these ain't playing. I'm not liking that. These no. are too clever for that these days. That's back in the day when they were stupid. Yeah, it's not liking a wind down. Go on. Doing. No, I'm not liking that. That's the ultimate foul looking rig. That's what you've got me doing there, isn't it? When I have a go, folks, get ready. Brutal you are. <laughs> brutal, brutal, brutal. Every float, though. Which go with every float, that. Yes. But yeah, no, you can see them coming in. Just changing that routine, getting them confident. So that'd be your next step then, going shallower. So I do, I'd change your I'd yeah. normally have another rod half the size of Uckland. So one of like two and a half foot or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. That's what I have other rods set up for, not for different wagglers. So we can catch that. Just for different depths. Just so everything's different fixed. fixed. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not fixed, but it, oh, it is. It's dictated to the hook Yeah. I don't like doing this, but it's got to be done. No, you do. Out. You liar. It's your favourite thing in the world. He ain't even going to look at it. They just went, listen, mate. They're big fish. We ain't getting trio caught in that there. Way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he moved. <laughs> what about Kate? I'm going to say having a cast with no feed. Maybe, but today, no, I'm not having it because they're coming into the feed. Because they're much, eating they? it. If I keep casting, they're not. No, they've almost got to be tripped. We've seems to have got to wait for a group here, haven't we? Yeah. But when I get a group in my peg. You seem to have a little spurt of catching two or three, which is that's dead standard. See how they're rising them. I yeah. hate fish. There's thousands of them here. Yeah, but the ones, old Jamie. They, they, they ain't. Look, there's 3,000 carp a metre behind me float there. I'm going to chuck a big cast in. We're dying. Oops. Go on. Go on. Mate. Hey, up. Go on, Jay, lad. Like that. that took a lot longer than expected, though. Yeah, but, but he's just gone moody, hasn't he? It has, and... Obviously, it's worth talking about that. No conditions when it's bright, you know what I mean? They can see everything. It's just literally just gone overcast. You know one. It is but a I think fit. changing the feeding regimes helps as well. Potentially, it's gone and changing a little bit. But it's how waggler fishing is, isn't it? It's yeah. always spelly. Got to be on the. Do you know if you were caught them all what day, like witch spells? you'd have, yeah, just like that, abracadabra and all that. If you caught them all day, you'd catch three million pounds. You would. You'd it's you one of them methods you never catch an old day. You'd always you? little spell early, the one in the middle, good spell late on. Is that the littlest carp little in Bobby, the clay pit? Little Bobby Common, little Bobby Popular. Go on the populars, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is as well, little, little Bobby Carps. Oh, I think it's the right one to end it on as well, do A you lovely like? one to end it with, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We're not gone too in-depth. It's just a nice generic waggler fishing. Think about it a little bit more. Use your floats. Don't be afraid to change them. I love your disgorger. Yeah. It's got a big hook, hasn't it? <laughs> nice, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful, that, Jay. Right, it's your turn now. You're getting jiggy I want to go. No, I, I want to go. Yeah, I've got a method, MBJ. No, you're getting jiggy. Come on. Come on, give me a go.